Greetings and welcome to Political Empire. I'm your host, Kim Pearsall with Press Enterprise and PE.com. We're going to be talking about how medical marijuana activists are joining the Democratic Party in Riverside County. And we're also going to talk about a Riverside mayoral candidate who uh, had his laptop stolen. So that could be a big deal for a campaign. Uh, so first, marijuana activists are backing the Democratic Party in Riverside County. They have formed a club within the Democratic Party called the Brownie Mary Democratic Club of Riverside County. Uh, they're seeking to help elect Democrats fight for medical marijuana patients and promote efforts to legalize the drug. It's named for the late Mary Jane Rathbun, known as, quote, Brownie Mary, for baking marijuana brownies and giving them to AIDS patients in San Francisco hospitals. And now we're going to talk about how Rusty Bailey, a candidate in the Riverside mayoral race, uh, had his laptop burgled recently. And granted, Watergate it's not, but a stolen campaign laptop is a big deal to him and to anyone who's running a campaign. Uh, the laptop can contain quite a bit of that campaign information and here to tell us more about how Bailey is coping and the latest on what's going on with the investigation is our Riverside reporter Alicia Robinson. Alicia, thanks so much for joining us today. So what is going on with this investigation? Well, um, first of all, the crime apparently happened on Saturday. Uh, somebody broke into Bailey's house while he and his family were out of town, stole the laptop, uh, flat screen TV, digital camera, and some other items. And the laptop did include some information about, you know, campaign supporters and things like that, although Bailey did say it wasn't really sensitive information such as credit card numbers of donors and things like that. And what's the latest? Because it sounds like there might have been a turn of events in this that's right. Uh, uh, police apparently were investigating an unrelated burglary and uh, just on Wednesday were able to make an arrest in the case. Uh, they, during this other investigation they were doing, uh, had spoken with uh, a juvenile um, who is 17 years old. They would not give out a lot of details just because the person is underage. And um, the person apparently uh, confessed to participating in this burglary and they were able to recover some of the property, including the laptop. Uh, I'm sure that Bailey is probably quite relieved about this because he had told us originally that none of the files on that computer were backed up anywhere else. Oh, geez. That's a lesson for everyone to definitely back up files just in case something bad happens. And interestingly, too, the uh, perpetrator, after they'd sold the laptop, had gone onto his Facebook page and started posting profanities and whatnot. And I guess his supporters or his friends on the Facebook page alerted him and said, hey, I don't think this is Rusty Bailey's postings. And that's kind of how we found out that someone was posting to his Facebook page. Alicia, thanks so much for joining us, and uh, keep us posted on what's going on with that uh, burglary investigation. And uh, thanks so much for joining us for another edition of Political Empire, and we'll see you tomorrow.